Hi everyone, I'm Pearl Monahan, and I am the teacher librarian at Dr. William Cobb Elementary School and at Spring Valley Science School. And today I'm here to read the book, <gasps> Bikes for Sale, written by Carter Higgins, illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora with permission from Chronicle Books. So this is the story of Maurice, a bike rider, and Lada, another bike rider, and a series of events that bring them together. And you'll notice right on the inside cover, there's this very cool map where I see a ditch with the best mud and a lake and a forest of the best lemon trees and a snack bar. So let's see what happens in the story. Bikes for Sale, written by Carter Higgins, illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora, published by Chronicle Books, San Francisco. They were new once, and then they weren't. This one belonged to Maurice. He rode it to the grocery store, through the park on 3rd Street that had the best lemon trees, and to the shop. No matter where he rode, he always had customers. He was far enough from the grocery store and just beyond the snack bar in the park. Everyone loves lemonade, he thought. 25 cents wasn't all that much for some squeezy drops of sunshine. Besides, they'd get to keep the cup. I love that description, squeezy drops of sunshine. That sounds exactly how lemonade tastes. After a while, it was time to ride on. Stay here, said the construction site man, thirsty from all the hammering. Don't go, said the dog walker with lots and lots of leashes. But Maurice had more corners to try. That one belonged to Lada. She rode it to the woods, through the ditch on 5th Street that had the best mud, and to the fort. And no matter where she rode, she always had room for one more. Hmm. I wonder what the author means by one more. Then I look at these illustrations and I notice on the bike there's some sort of basket or satchel that's full of sticks. And down here I see her using a special tool to collect some sticks. So I think that's what the author meant. More, one more stick. She rode deep into the woods where the sun couldn't reach and far out to the lake where the beavers kept their leftovers. Everyone loves sticks, she thought. They're the best thing to collect. And besides, they were free. Over here it says, would you want one? <gasps> oh, yes, please. After a while, it was time to ride on. Don't go, said the dock walker with lots and lots of leashes. Stay here, said a bunch of boys who couldn't pick a favorite. But Lada had more thickets to try. He rode, and she rode, and they rode all over. But what looked like a small stick was really a smash up. Pop, smash. And that was the end of this one. Maurice walked home instead. And what looked like some petals were really some peels. Crash! And that was the end of that one. Lotta walked home too. They were new ones, and then they weren't. I know banana peels are yellow and slippery, but these are tiny. I'm thinking they might be lemon peels. Maurice found some okay sneakers, and Lotta got galoshes. They tried to forget where their wheels had gone. Galoshes might be a new word, but what I notice is they look like boots and she's wearing them in water. So I think galoshes are a type of waterproof boot, like a rain boot. I love reading because when you read new books, you learn new words. But sneakers weren't as fast as rubber tires and galoshes weren't good for climbing. So the people were thirsty for sunshine and the sticks stayed stuck on their trees. Down here, the rabbits are saying, do you smell that?
Meanwhile, to someone new, the rest sparkled. The deflated tires still held hope. Sid knew all about the bikes. The satchel told stories of sugar, the bell ding of a ditch, and the sprockets remembered mud and lemons and twigs and mint. Now, when I first read this, I didn't know what a sprocket was, so I had to look it up. And it turns out the sprocket's the part of a bike that the chain goes around. So I learned a new word from reading a new book. Bikes for sale, abandoned and discarded, found and restored, come see Sid. He says it on both sides. On this side, Maurice wondered. And on that side, Wada maybe. And then they went to see Sid. Lotta rode her bike to the woods and through the park on 3rd Street that had the best lemons and through the ditch on 5th Street that had the best mud. Maurice rode his bike to the grocery store and through the park on 3rd Street that had the best lemon trees and to the woods and to the shop. Hmm. So they're kind of doing some of the same things, but now I notice Lotta is using her cool tool to pick lemons this time. So it's kind of the same, but it's different. They'd never ridden this way before. Oh, wow. Sid took two broken bikes and he made something magnificent. They had new adventures. Now the lemons had more shine and the steaks had more snap. Up here she's saying, look at that pretty snake. What? looked like a friend was really a friend. And that's how friendship begins. They are new once, and then they aren't. Hmm, just like the bikes, friendships are new, and then they aren't. Wow, what seemed like it was a big crash and a smash up actually turned into something amazing, a brand new friendship and a new friend. I wonder if you've ever had a happy accident or a marvelous mistake, something that seemed like it might be terrible, but something good came out of it. Hmm. Well, on the back cover, we get to see that map again. And you'll notice, now we know where some of these places are. Oh, there's the ditch with the best mud that Lotta liked to ride through and the best lemon trees where Maurice and Lotta like to pick their lemons. Thank you for reading with me today. I want you to stay home and I want you to stay safe and I definitely want you to stay reading and we will see you next time.